Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 7th of March and this time I bring you a couple of pieces of news regarding Final Fantasy XIV, the Heaven's Ward expansion and Street Fighter V. There's a little bit of news regarding both so I thought I'd just be nice and throw them together in a nice bumper pack of news, a kind of mini roundup if you will. Starting off, however, with Final Fantasy XIV, Heaven's Ward and Square Enix announced the release date for the expansion at PAX East today. Now, we'll be releasing on June the 23rd on both PC, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, as well as, of course, a Mac version, which is being handled by Trans Gaming. However, don't go anywhere just yet, because if you're thinking of pre-ordering the title, this might actually sweeten the deal quite a bit, as early access to the content will actually be made available to those who pre-order, and it will be available to you if you pre-order, obviously, on June the 19th. So, basically, you get a nice four-day head start on everybody else. Now, for those of you wondering, hey, when can I pre-order? It will actually go live on March the 16th in three versions. Standalone, Collector's Edition, and bundled with the core game. So, if perhaps you haven't actually bought the game yet, they are thinking of you and have actually done a bundle for you. So... Before I finish up and move on to Street Fighter, I do have a little bit of a statement here from Naoki Yoshida who said during the PAX panel that they actually consider it more of a standalone than a typical expansion because of the insane amount of content that it offers. As of course it has a new location, Alexander Ray, new flying mounts, new loot system, three extra jobs and a new race. And obviously have some new stuff as to do as well. So I can kind of see where they're coming from, but of course we can't see how legit that comment is until we actually play the content. But at least now we have a rough idea or know, we exa know exactly when it's going to be coming out and all that good stuff as well as a rather nice reward for those who pre-order. So that's how you do a pre-order bonus, guys. Moving on to Street Fighter V, however, we may have actually seen an unintentional leak of the release window for this particular title. Now, basically, Capcom were at PAX East with some cool merchandise they were selling for Street Fighter V. And they made a comment at the bottom of a Capcom Unity post. It was hastily removed, however, but we all know that the sharp-eyed people, well, they screenshot these type of things. And it said, quote, Everyone is fired up for Street Fighter V comes to the PS4 and PC next spring. Until then, you can sport the official SF5 key art t-shirt which features Ryu in a heroic pose for $25. Now, if you look at it, it actually has a sentence removed, a part obviously referencing the release window. So, yes, that was either a mistake or the slip of the tongue. Probably a slip of the tongue, to be completely honest. Spring 2016 sounds like a reasonable release window for this particular title, so yeah. But of course, it is a rumour at this stage. Capcom, obviously, given that they removed the sentence, that kind of, well, let the cat out of the barn or whatever, they're not going to be confirming this anytime soon unless the rumour mill gets out of control, which it might. These things tend to get a little crazy, but still, we may be seeing it quite soon indeed. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.